Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a Cafe Bustello coffee. This was sent to us from Iris, so thank you very much, Iris. This is espresso ground coffee, always pure and flavorful like no other. It is vacuum packed, 100% pure coffee. This is a, uh, a classic dark blend coffee. It is, it says Cafe Bustello coffee, has an irresistible aroma and rich taste. It is a deliciously versatile coffee that can be prepared using your preferred method. Drip, brewed, cappuccino, espresso, or cold with ice to satisfy all tastes. The best coffee is enjoyed with company. This is made by Roland Coffee Roasters in Miami, Florida, and it is CafeBustello.com. So now, uh, you were talking about, wow. It's that, a very fine, fine ground coffee. Oh, like powder. Ooh, it's, it's strong. It smells very strong. Uh, but you know, so, when brewed, it doesn't smell as strong in the cup. I mean, it smells strong, but it's not as strong as it, it doesn't does. have as much aroma as any other coffee. This, uh, compared to like Maxwell House or something like that, this is very, very fine. Yeah, it's almost a powder. Yes. Like literally a powder. Um, so tell everyone how you made it for um, us. I did it in the Keurig. Um, I've got one of those little adapters that you put the coffee in the adapter and put it in the Keurig. So that's how I did it. So he made it like that, and we have already put sugar in here. Yeah, because we know we wouldn't drink coffee without any no, sugar. No, we're either. not going to drink it black, uh, just black, so we put sugar in it. So we're going to try it with sugar, and then we have our coffee creamer on the side, and we're going to try it with our coffee creamer like we would traditionally drink our coffee. So. And normally, just to let you know, we don't normally drink coffee with just sweetener in it. That is some strong strong coffee strong coffee well it's pitch black yes Tr put the go ahead and put the cream right there it's not bad um, though it really does i mean it's strong but it doesn't have a bitterness to it necessarily see to me it is incredibly bitter but i didn't get a bitter of course i didn't get a huge mouthful of it because it's still it boring. to oh, me it. is incredibly i mean like it still is affecting my mouth because oh, really? it, oh it is incredibly bitter um but i do want to say I, I no longer drink uh, regular coffee. I drink flavored coffee. So all the coffee that I drink has some kind of flavoring in it. And that is my preferred coffee these days. Um, I don't drink just regular coffee of any kind. So um, I think um, even a regular cup of coffee is probably going to seem more bitter to me than the flavored but now this is extreme. Yeah, it is a very strong flavored coffee, but I, I got some bitterness, but it wasn't as bad. Of course, you, you almost have to drink a whole cup to really get a feel for oh, it. Oh, no, that's okay. I can do that. Much better? Yes. Yes, I can do it with the cream. With the creamer, it's it's perfect. It is... Yeah, that cuts some of that. It cuts it all. It cuts it at least in half. The bitterness is at least cut in half by putting the, adding the creamer in, which I know a lot of you use creamers. I know a lot of people that follow us use the liquid creamers. Mm -hmm. or and milk. Or milk, and those come in, um, some people use half and half. Yeah. But those um, liquid creamers a lot, you can get those in different flavors. Um, but that, that makes it much so much better yeah, for me. Yeah, I actually like it. It's got a good flavor to it. And, but to be fair, I would never drink it with just sugar anyway. Right. So I'm only going to drink it this way. So it is still um, a strong cup oh, of yeah, coffee. Oh, it's still strong. But it, it doesn't, that bitterness is gone. Yeah. So once you put your creamer in, I think you're absolutely going to love yeah. it. It's a good coffee. Yeah. So, and we, um, if, if you do have a uh, the Keurig machine um, and you don't own one of those adapters, um, if, if for some reason you don't know about that, um, it's really nice because it's much cheaper to buy coffee like this, honestly, oh, yeah. than to much, buy much it in the little cups. And so you can buy this adapter and you can buy your coffee like this, make it more affordable, and you just put the amount you want in that cup mm -hmm. and brew it like that. Yeah. The only thing you have to do is have to clean it. Yes, day. that's that's the only downside. It's like a filtered coffee pot. It's It's got a, me a mesh metal screen on this little pot inside this the K cup mm -hmm. adapter, and you just. But have to it's clean not it. hard at all. No, I take it and dump it in the garbage, and then go to the sink and rinse it out and wash it with soap and water. It's not, it's not a big deal at all. Right. So thank you so much, Irish, for uh, sharing this coffee mm -hmm. with us. We Very really good. appreciate it, and thanks for watching.